Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the Aquarius New Moon on the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up, what I can get. I'm no astrologer, so my reading may not resonate with everything they're saying, or it may. Let's just going to see what comes up. What do we have for the Aquarius full moon? New moon. New moon. Excuse me for saying that was a mistake. And this whole thing could be about mistakes that were made, you know, this whole, because I, this is my second reading that I've done for this new moon. The other one is like 35 minutes long. I don't believe I'm going to share it. I'm going to keep that one to myself, but it's about mis mistakes and people, um, feeling guilty and having deep regrets for the mistakes that they have made. I feel like somebody's, uh, obviously we had the seven of swords reversed. So some truth is about to be revealed exposure, exposure. And it's like the information, somebody has been waiting for the information to arrive. They've been waiting for the paperwork or waiting for the confirmation. They've been, it's like invest. There's been an ongoing investigation of some sort, whether it's with a real investigator or not. Somebody has been doing some sort of investigation and they finally gotten the information that, they've been waiting on okay and now that the information has arrived it's like now they see clearly what they have to do and they may have deep regrets for engaging themselves in a situation that was fake from the get-go they were probably involved with somebody or dealing with somebody that was lying maybe it was a pathological liar okay I really feel like somebody's been dealing with a pathological liar somebody that is very malicious and um, selfish and uh, self-centered. Oh, what's the word for it? We had the Empress reversed as well right here in the middle. Somebody that is selfish, jealous. If it's a feminine, the Empress reversed is a feminine. So I feel like, and we did have a masculine here that was seeing a situation clearly. He was making a decision. He was making a choice based on something, okay? And, and, and I think he received some sort of information that, you know, has given him some sort of awakening, awakening of some sort. Because underneath him was the Seven of Cups reversed. It's like he sees the situation clearly now about a feminine that he is engaged with. And if you're in same-sex relationship, take it for what it is. There's a feminine and a masculine, okay? Just do whatever you got to do to fix that up. So, anyway, um... I feel like we have this feminine here who is very jealous, very needy, very selfish, very, uh, you know, very needs all the attention in the world and it is overly dramatic, right? Melodramatic. We also had the Queen of Wands reversed right next to it. So we have a very melodramatic feminine who is uh, lazy and selfish and... Um, doesn't take care of herself or her children very well. You know, she's very much based on ego, based out of ego, egotism, you know what I mean? Her look, she has a self-image problem. And so therefore, you know, her kids don't come first. Her family doesn't come first. Her looks, what it looks like comes first. And yeah, she probably looks good, but it's all just looks, okay? Because deep down, she doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her worth and she's suffering in pain and a lot of pain. And and so, you know, she maybe she didn't have a father when she was growing up or she didn't have a father figure. Maybe she did, but he was absent or even a mother, an absent mother, or maybe even both. And now she's just been searching for somebody to fill that void. And that and if that means that she neglects her own children in the process of getting her own needs met because she is her inner child isn't healed or whatever the case is, her child children or child falls to the wayside because she didn't get the love that she needed when she was a kid whatever that anyhow um anyhow we have a we have we have the empress reversed here in the middle that uh doesn't know her value and she didn't take care of her child or her children when she was supposed to and there could be a rejection and or there could be a loss okay because we had the empress reversed and we had the six of pentacles reversed right over here which is a loss whether i mean hey it's reality women lose their children they do so don't fathers, but in this case, that the empress is a woman. So I'm not sure if a, if there is a if there is a woman that is losing her child because she didn't. And up here was the seven of of uh, pentacles reversed, which was nurturing. You know, somebody, and it was the one with the plant that is in, in not growing anymore. So so there was no growth. There's no more growth because somebody wasn't feeding it. They weren't feeding the 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 
plant, you know, the living thing. They weren't, they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing when they were supposed to be doing it. It's time to relocate. So whatever, the, however that resonates for you, there's going to be some sort of relocation, okay? And seven years is prominent here. So I don't know where set, because we had the seven of pentacles reversed, and we had the seven of swords reversed, and they were like a little diagonal right here. So I think seven or 14, seven or 14 years is prominent. I think it's, the, it's like your past is coming back to haunt you um, as well. So perhaps, and it could also go back to 2014, I don't know why why that just that just barely came up to my head, but I feel like um something is is coming back to haunt you and it need and there's unfinished business okay there's unfinished business that needs to be dealt with and it and it can't finish until all the until all the facts are are delivered and somebody has received the facts and somebody had to learn a lesson as well so there's a lesson that had to be learned in regards to taking care of things when they're still alive. You can't wait until it's almost dead and then try to fix it. You got to you got to nurture it through the whole through its whole existence. Anyhow, um So anyway, <laughs> let's get a card. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got to go with whatever comes out of my mouth. Um we have ill health. We have somebody here that has is is ill, and it could be mentally ill, or it could be ill in in inside. You know, the inside their body. You know, physically ill. And the reason I say that is because I just see the judgment reverse. That's ill health. That's that's also feeling guilty, and it could be even found guilty. Somebody could be found guilty. Maybe they're fat being found guilty for not telling the truth in a situation, or there could be extreme guilt. Okay, somebody made a poor judgment call, and maybe they want a reconciliation now, or they want another chance, and it's too late because you know the judgment reverse. It's like it's like the judgment has probably already been made, and perhaps it's too late. Somebody may not have been listening, refusing to listen to advice. Um, and now they're, and somebody may also be put, be put, be being put on trial. It's like you're being put on trial. Um, or maybe with this judgment reversed, maybe, uh, they didn't pass. They didn't, they didn't pass a test or something like that. Somebody made a poor judgment call because they were unaware. They were unaware of another person's past. Something about the past. Because the judgment is a card of past lives as well. There could be a past life contract here that somebody has been unaware of. And maybe now they're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. And now they realize they start to believe in past lives. Either way, I think there's been some sort of deception and I think that there is some truth that is about to be revealed and whatever this truth is, it's going to, there's potential for some sort of reconciliation between two people. And when I say, and reconciliation doesn't have to be between lovers, it could be, be, be with somebody you've been with in a past life. Zero, zero, zero. Oneness, transformational change, possibility, unity with the universe, limitless energy. Divine guidance is available right now. What do you hear? Are you listening? Your intuition is spot on. God is with you. New beginnings. And that is what this is definitely about. So we have somebody that is starting from scratch. We do. This is a, this is a new beginning. We have a new beginning. I don't know what deck I want to use. I wasn't prepared. Imagine that. We're going to go with this one. We have a new beginning here. Unity. I, mean, I do see a unity. I do see a unity transformational change but you know it's funny when I saw new beginnings just now and I did write this I made this up and I when I first started doing uh tarot a long time ago so new beginning but anyway when I first looked at it this time I thought I said that's after death and then I just looked back up to transformational change there is something that ends you have to have an ending to have a new beginning 
Okay, so be prepared for an ending that leads to a new beginning. It gives you the opportunity to start from scratch. A transformational change is a big one. It's a profound change. Transformation is just not a little word, okay? It's not something little. It's something big. A transformation is profound. It's big. It's huge. So we have a huge change within your body and your soul that is happening in your life. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. So we have grieving. We have sadness over loss. This person is, is very stable, very, holding on, holding on tight to what she has. She don't look very happy, though. This person is, is kind of not on. I mean, she don't look very happy. Take a look at her face. She's kind of, uh, she looks kind of mean. Maybe I should just blow the candle out. Oh, yeah, I was going to change the settings. I just haven't yet. Anyway, she looks a little upset. This person looks upset. She ain't one to mess with, put it that way. She definitely does not look like she is somebody to mess with. Um, now, this is sadness. This is a, the five of cups is some sort of separation. It's 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 uh, mourning, deep sorrow, and the ten of swords uh, that is betrayal. That's that's the end. It's the this is uh, this kind of looks like a. I mean, it kind of looks like a death to me. It is a death. Okay. Uh, so this is this is the and it is sad. We have this this very stable individual who is not happy she's hate she's stable she's solid she looks like she's pretty independent she's an independent person she has nothing to worry about she looks like she's a little guarded this person is guarded um she's powerful she has on red she knows she's powerful she does there's there's sadness though there's mourning over a loss Somebody is going to be mourning over a loss, or they have been mourning, not realizing that there's another opportunity. There is another opportunity here, but this is an ending that needs to happen first. It's funny because I was going to say, I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn. And I was going to say that because I added these numbers up. And this is a Capricorn as well. Because 10 plus 5 equals Capricorn. Or 15 equals 15. And 15 is the Devil card. And sure enough, what comes out next? The Devil card. I should just add it. I, I need to just say things like that. Anyhow, um, so I'm not sure what is going on, but this is bound to an unhealthy, toxic situation. So I'm wondering what is going on here. We have somebody, this is unhealthy, this is toxic, toxic, this is obsessed. We have somebody here that is, it's the end of a toxic situation. nine of wands reverse now this is somebody who is unwilling to back down this is a setback this is somebody who keeps repeating their their patterns over and over and over again this is uh somebody who wants their own way this is somebody that is disagreeable um it feels like uh this is somebody who has been wounded and they may be masking their pain in addictions there could be some addictions here and i feel like uh you know somebody could uh go overboard with their addictions put it that way their addictions could take them to the wrong place so if you have addictions during this time and you plan on uh 
getting some instant gratification, you could go overboard and not get up in the morning. So if you have these addictions, I would suggest that you say no. Just say no to drugs. Anyhow, that's what I got to say about that. It could be a drug overdose is what I'm trying to say. Okay, there could be. So just, just be careful. Just be really, really careful here. And this could be a mother that is grieving. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. I hate to, I mean, I could, I could change this. No, I couldn't because that's not who I am. But this, this one doesn't look happy. This queen of, Pen the queen of pentacles is a mother. She's mother earth. Okay. So she's, she is a mother that doesn't look very happy. She's got something in her hands, right? She's got the gift. She's got the, the gold, right? She's got the gold. This person, then, then, then there's unhappiness. There's sadness. Somebody could be, you know, feeding their pain with addictions and, you know, whatever. Now wake up. Just, just be really careful if that's what you do. Anyhow, um, this is the end of a painful situation. It's like the storm is over, but you have to face your addictions. And that's this could be going another route. We could have somebody here that is obsessed with the past. Obsessed with holding on to the past. Okay, that could be another obsession. That could be something that is toxic and unhealthy. It's over. It's done. Stop keeping yourself down. Pick yourself up from rock bottom. You don't have to stay there. Look at this as a time to... Look at this as a new beginning. Look at this as a time of freedom. Look at this as a time to, you know, know your value. To bring value to your life. This person is very independent. Is very valuable. We have a very valuable queen here. She knows her value. And she. it looks like this person is looking away from this nonsense. It's like, I'm stable. I'm solid. I'm secure. So this person is not wanting to involve themselves in this nonsense over here. But it looks to me like we do have somebody that has been focusing on the past, focusing on the hurt, staying down, keeping themselves down because they were obsessed. Obsessed. You know, and it's just like I refuse. I refuse to listen to what anybody else has to say. I refuse to let go. I refuse to accept Okay, we have somebody here that has a real lot, a lot of pride, a lot of pride. And I think the rejection that they have been through is, is, is too much for them to release. It's, it's, it's really just an obsession. So we have somebody here that is really obsessed. And I think that maybe it's the end of the obsession. It's the end of the, um, maybe, maybe you sever some ties. I mean, you think about this. This is like slavery. This can also be a death, the devil. With this card, I mean, it feels like... I mean, but it could be the the death of, of waiting. I'm not going to wait anymore. It's time for my new beginning. It could be the death of the obsession. I'm done. I'm done. Better choices... Beware of false beginnings. Choose wisely. The Seven of Cups. This is fantasy and illusion. The Seven of Cups. Be careful what you get yourself engaged in. Somebody is going to be presented with an option during this new moon. And you're going to have to definitely choose wisely. This is going to be a test. It's going to be a test of your character. It's going to be a test of your will. You are going to be given a choice. This choice is going to is going to uh, basically tell the universe what kind of person you plan to be. This is messages. This is forward movement. Moving very fast, moving very quickly. This is somebody not telling the truth, not seeing the truth, and not awake. This is somebody that is un unawakened. Oh my goodness gracious. 
Somebody may seriously not wake up. And I'm sorry. It feels like there's, this is fantasy land right here. Seven of Cups. This is consequences. Seven of Cups is the card of consequences. And the devil is too. Be careful for false beginnings during this time because you are probably going to be tested with something that looks really good. It may make you feel really good, but it could end up killing you. Now, this is a message, this, this eight of wands, things happen fast too. This is fast m movement. This is, this is news arriving. This is news arriving that makes somebody sad. I mean, the five of cups is sad. And like I said, this person doesn't look happy. So there could be some news that is, that is arriving about some sort of poor choice that somebody has made a poor choice. And now they've hit rock bottom. They maybe they just hit the ground. Maybe they who knows what that is. The world, the end. It's over. They're done. They've completed this chapter. This cycle is over. A lesson has been learned. Evolution. Change of residence. Whole whole new you wholeness here. We have an ending. And it's a big one. Okay, we have a major ending that is, and I knew it when I saw this. We have a major ending that leads to a new beginning. So be prepared for, I think it's a rude awakening. Okay, I do think it's a rude awakening that uh, you're going to hear something. You are probably going to hear some sort of communication or you're going to get some messages that uh, Somebody has suffered some consequences for their poor choices and they're about to learn their lesson. <laughs> they may end up in jail or they may end up in the ground. And I'm sorry to say that, but that is the truth. Um, a cycle of life or a cycle in your life, a phase is ending. This is a major completion. Somebody's, this journey is over. This is leaving the past behind. It's leaving it behind. And starting at zero. It really, really, really is. So be prepared. Be prepared for something to come to an end. I think it's going to come to an end pretty fast when it does end with this Eight of Wands. That's something that happens fast. This is like severing ties. There's the sword that severs the ties. Okay. This is Here's the sword that severs the ties with this unhealthy situation. This toxic environment. This, 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 uh illusion this obsession okay this it's like this is all uh coming to an end this whole illusion this whole fantasy this whole obsession is coming to an end i do i feel as though they, they it's like they, there's there's nothing you can do about it this is like being burned out this is also bad luck Okay, this, I'm telling you what, I do feel as though something is going to come to an abrupt ending because somebody makes a poor, poor choice. They choose the wrong thing and, you know, it could end very badly. Be, be careful with your choices during this time. I don't, I cannot reiterate that enough. Go slow. Don't drive fast. Go slow. The, I'm telling you what. There's something to do with a serious completion here. This is leaving it all behind. It is. Starting fresh. This is definitely a oneness and a wholeness. It's like starting over, starting new, brand new, brand new. This is like a brand new you, a brand new me. No longer dealing with that. Letting go. Some of you are going to be relinquishing bad habits. It's going to be working on your habits you know, it's going to be like, I don't need that habit anymore. I don't need to do that anymore. That's not who I am anymore. This is totally about evolution. It's the end of this 
bad situation, put it that way. It's really, really good. There's positive movement forward. There is. But before you can do that, there has to be some sort of ending. This ending does lead to stability. And I think it leads to some sort of new independence. It's like where you stand alone. You notice this, this card is alone. It's like you're, you, you, you realize that. All you really have is yourself. And when you get comfortable for th with that, that's the ultimate security. It really is. I'm good. I'm stable. I'm secure. I don't need anybody else. I can take care of myself. And when you get to that point, it's absolutely the best place that you can be. It really is. This, this is somebody who stands alone. But over here, there's we have somebody here that has been grieving over a loss. And I feel like they've been self-medicating. And I feel like they've been self-medicating with some really bad habits. Bad addictions. And addictions are drugs, alcohol, food. Gambling, spending money, sex. Somebody has been self-medicating with something that is killing them. And it's like now, now they're realizing maybe there's a health scare. Or worse. Whatever is happening, it's like somebody's been making some piss poor choices based on instant gratification and it's like they maybe they have a near death experience that wakes them up or whatever there's going to be rapid change something is coming to an end and it has to do with a bad habit i don't need it anymore i'm not that person anymore i'm not going to bury my wounds anymore i'm going to deal with them that kind of thing that's transformational change oh god on the bottom of the deck four of swords the death of the old you A death, the death of an idea or a person. I ain't that person anymore. Therefore, I'm ready to step into my new world. Get prepared for a whole new you. So right around the 24th, there, I think there's going to be a... Somebody's going to make a choice and it's going to change their life in a transformational way. Good luck.